Hey Grits, welcome back to some more EU4 on this channel. Today I will show you how Austria can rise again, not only in EU4, also in real life. So let's get started. So, as you can see, Austria now is a tiny bit of shit in the middle of Europe. This is the EU and we want to Brexit it, to exit it. So the next thing is, we can make a whole new country with Switzerland. And boom, we managed to create a whole new country in the middle of Europe, called Alpine Federation. Now the Alpine Federation has some rivals. And one of them is Netherlands, and the other one, oh yeah, Italy. Cause Italy has some claims and cores from our country. So the next thing is, we have to integrate some other countries into our country. Wow, what a nice sentence to write. And one of them could be the Czechs, ruled by Petr Czech. But we, we aren't doing it, or we won't do it on the war way, we are doing it on the peaceful way. The first new country who wanted to join uh, the Alpine Federation was Slovenia, because Slovenia was always a good friend from Austria. Our biggest enemy, Italy, is a bit stronger than us, so we have to wait until we can fight them. Okay, the next thing we want to do is let some other countries vote who want to join the Alpine Federation. One of them was Croatia, because Croatia isn't the, the richest country in the world, but it's a very beautiful one, and it will, it will help to manage us to get a greater force than the Italians have. And boom! But now our country looks a bit worse than before. I didn't thought it would be possible, but as you can see it is. I don't want other Balkans my empire because they just have wars all the time. I don't need that. Let's invade the Czechs because they don't want us. So I made some claims and I will say let's start with the war. Take this and let's invade them. And boom! We fucked up the last fight but we control all of Czech Republic, and now we can tr let them join into our country. We can conquer the whole Czech Republic. Very good. So the next thing I will do is ally the Hungarians and the Slovaks. And after that we can, we can go to war with Italy. Oh, maybe we should help the Hungarians with the revolt. So we helped the Hungarians and now I hope they will help, uh, help us along with Slovakia to destroy the Italians. Okay, the Hungarians will help, but the Slovakian won't be. But we don't need them, so let's get started. We are doing quite well in this war. We almost have the top of the Shui. And we also managed to vassalize Slovakia. Now we have almost the uh, whole uh, Austrian-Hungarian Empire back. If we can manage to conquer Hungary, then we have the old Austrian Empire nearly. Until some other countries from Poland, Ukraine, Romania and Serbs, Serbia, but we don't need this. Our country, at least, or our faction, is looking really good. We annexed the Slovaks. Slovaks and the next one would be Hungary because we are so hungry of them. Hoo -hoo. The next thing after Hungary we need to invade the French part of the Alps. As you can see Hungary is now in our faction or country whatever and now I'm fighting versus the France. They are also fighting versus Belgium so we have one ally in this fight because Germany wanted to help us 
As you can see, the war is going pretty well. We already invaded the French Alps and hope we can get some more land so we can make a good peace deal. And there we go, we, we conquered the French Alps and released Provence and Normandy. So it was going quite well. Maybe we could make the borders here a bit bigger with conquering Asti and Brzezica. But I think we don't need that. Now Austria is again a world power, so I will think, I will stop here. The last thing I did was, what does a great empire need? Of course, colonies. So I colonized the other, some other mountains here in Scandinavia. That was the journey from Austria rising again. If you want me to do another one, leave it in the comment, my one. It's always funny to say, leave something in the comments when there are no people there, ha ha ha. In the description you will find the mods I used. And of course, I also cheated because I'm shit. <laughs> I just wanted to make this to show you how cool this is. I don't know why I made this, sorry. Please kill me. My life is awful. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed it and as I said, write the com in the comments if you want to see another one and then I will say goodbye. <laughs>